Teacher Sam, and we are going to talk about something really cool for Palfish teachers. Or any online teacher, actually. But why would you want to work for anyone but Palfish? Anyway, so today's topic is summer travels. Let's face it, summertime, we want to go on vacations with our families, um, spur of the moment trips. And I get ants a lot. How, you know, what do I take with me so I can teach? Because I really don't want to have to take the whole week off, or can I travel and work? There are a lot of teachers who travel the world and work, okay? That's not 100% who I'm talking to today. I'm talking to teachers like me, okay? I have kids, and we're going to the beach for a week. What can I take with me so that I can just do a few classes while I'm there? I don't want to miss all my points. I don't want to take the whole week off. Which is great because we teach certain hours and then we still have our whole day, right? So, I want to show you an example of a teacher go bag. Now, I just put it in this. I typically put all of this in my laptop bag. I do kind of have a little bigger one. But this is just a bag from the Dollar Tree. Everything here can be got at the Dollar Tree or Dollar General. And these are things that you can take with you. So that you can teach in a hotel bathroom. That works. If you have kids and you have like a double room, go in the bathroom, put this on the back of the bathroom door, and you can teach from the bathroom floor. Um, I love Airbnbs. And I'll be staying at one in Atlanta for a week next month for a youth conference. And I'll be taking my little go bag with me because I'm not taking the whole week off. Okay, so here's what's in the go bag. First and foremost, wrapping paper. Now this is cute little dinosaurs having a birthday party. I thought it would be cute and I do have a birthday party coming up. So I fold it up. Now, let me say this. When it comes to wrapping paper that you're going to use for a background on vacation, put forth a little bit of more money and get the better quality paper so it's thicker, okay? So wrapping paper. And I only take a square. This, this is doubled over in half that I can then unfold and put behind me on a door and it doesn't look crazy big, okay? So this is very, very important. Now, what are you going to put that up on the wall with? We're going to fall back to the hefty, desk, hefty um, super valuable thing that teachers in the classroom use, and that's blue sticky tack. This blue sticky tack is what I use to hold all this up. It is amazing stuff that teachers in classrooms used to put decorations on the wall, to put artwork on the wall, and it's sold at the Dollar Tree. It's not the highest quality, but it will get you through for a few days or a week, whatever, while you're working and traveling. It doesn't leave a mess on the wall behind you, the door, whatever you have to use, so this is really great. Okay? Now, these are simple jumbo board letters. These are sold at Dollar General. I haven't even popped these out. I literally picked them up this morning. Um, you pop them out, put them in a Ziploc bag. You can put Teacher Sam, ABC123. You can even prep your background in advance so that it just unfolds and sits on the, on the wall. You know, maybe Maybe tape your letters down real good or glue them down to your wrapping paper. So all you have to do is put your wrapping paper up. And this makes it look so much more put together. Okay, what else do I have? Hey, in some situations, wrapping paper may not work. I have also used this. I have several of these. I buy them every time I find them at the store. Um, these are at the Dollar Tree and they are U.S. maps. Okay, it's a bright, colorful map. You can't get more educational than this. I've even had situations where maybe I sat at the table. Uh, we went to a condo in Florida for Thanksgiving two years ago. And I kind of sat a few feet away from a wall and I just put this on the wall behind me and this worked perfect. Okay, this is, let's see, 40 inches by 28 inches. So it's kind of big. All right. We all know that we like to travel with something that's cute, that will make kids laugh. Um, I use headbands a lot, like you guys have seen this one before, my hamburger. 
But this can be kind of bulky, and I don't like traveling with puppets or anything like that. So, at the Dollar Tree, because y'all know I love this store, they have these cute little things, right? Little kids are going to find that goofy and funny. Little stuff like this. It's a dollar. It can go flat. It lays in your, your goodie bag, your to-go bag. You're good to go. Now, for props. Because you do still need a reward system, right? So we've covered letters. You can have a lot of your like pictures and stuff on your device that you teach with. But how do you have a prop that's super easy to transport? I got gotcha. you. So, for a boy prop at Dollar General, they sell these Planet Earth tubes. They're $2 a piece. The cap comes off, so this kind of stays together. And it is all kinds of dinosaurs. So, you get a dinosaur! Yay! You can put them in a cup. You know, you can take all this out and put them in a cup. You can um, maybe have a book and, like, put together. This has... Like rocks with it and cactuses. Put together a little scene when they do something good. It's not fancy and it's not overcomplicated. This is a super cheap, simple, and, and I mean, these aren't even like, I mean, I couldn't name my dinosaurs. I'm sorry that's not focusing. But a super cute way to have rewards on the go for a little boy. So for every little boy, you gotta have a little girl, right? These seal up. So, if you are also at Dollar General in the party section, they have these, and I was like, oh, these are perfect. This is in the little party favors, and they're unicorns. Right? These are pretty big unicorns, too. You get eight in a bag, which is perfect for a prop. I wish my camera would focus more. Is that any better? No? Sorry. But these are cute little unicorns. They're all different colors. You get a bag of them. Throw these babies in a Ziploc bag and you got a great prop for girls. You can even name them. One, two, three. Okay? Now, the prop for the older students. And I use this for older students, younger students, because it's something we all like. And it's something that we all do well at. And guess what that is? Money. Every time they do good, you get one dollar. Or one, you know, if their name is Bobby, one Bobby. Bobby gets one money. Okay, you can call it whatever you want to call it. They know what this is. Okay? And I mean, it's a dollar. It comes with a little cheapo money clip. Kids like money. We all like money. Okay? So, this is a, a way that you can have a super simple class room that really moves with you. Right? Like, that covers your background. It's not anything fancy, but it doesn't have to be. You got a little ditty bag to put it in. You can call your teacher to go. Um, and you can put other props in it. You can do whatever you need to do. That's kind of the great thing about this job. Uh, the first week of May, we went and spent several days at the beach, and I was able to work every day. And by the time I was done teaching is about the time my family was getting up and getting ready to go. Which meant I didn't miss anything with my family, and I also didn't miss out on my money. Okay? That's one of the amazing perks about this job. Right? If you have any questions, concerns, or things that you'd like to know about, comment below. Tell me what you put in your to-go bag. What is it that you carry with you when you travel that you can't teach without? Okay? Until next time, guys, I'll see you in the classroom.